Well, Jeffree Star's ex-boyfriend, Nathan Swan, is at it again right before the holidays. So, he posted this interesting tweet. It says, I feel like death is upon me. And I have the receipt right here. He says, uh, been 17 years without a proper break from smoking. It's time for a few months off and let my lungs bounce back. With over 11,000 views and uh, 7,000 views on the other tweet. Now, this was posted at the beginning of the month. We're just now getting to it because he also posted something else. Like, you know, before that. It says, don't sleep on my spicy ish, I be dropping. And he's talking about his, um, you know, that, that another another platform. And um, we don't want to talk about that one right here. But that's what, let me just go ahead and just, I'm going to erase it right here. So we don't get to see it. But you know what I'm saying? So it's like, oh, right before the holidays. Let's get this bag. Now, Jeffree Star has not responded to this. I find it very interesting that after all this time, He's going to attempt to stop smoking. And um, I don't know. You know what I like to think of? I like to think of it this way. Nathan Swan is doing these dramatic posts to get Jeffree Star's attention. Because he wants Jeffree Star back for the holidays. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. All right, guys. Let me know what you think about that. We have other topics to talk about. Here we go. Let's talk. What's going on? Okay, first of all, happy Christmas Eve. We made it. Oh my God, we made it Christmas Eve. You're going to go out tonight, be safe, and let me know what your plans are tonight. So right now, I'm probably going to go see the new Aquaman movie, part two, the new one. I got tickets for it, so I can make it on time. But I was like, I have to put out a video today. I miss you guys. I love you guys, and Merry Christmas. Okay, it's a Jeffree Star Christmas! Once again, Jeffree Star bringing families together since 2015. Okay. So we have a lot to talk about because he has been making a lot of reviews toward the end of the year on TikTok. Okay, so I noticed it's been no secret that Jeffree Star has shaded Tarte Cosmetics many times before. Okay, and I think the reason why Jeffree Star shades Tarte Cosmetics is because it's a multi-billion dollar brand. Um, the CEO, Maureen, I feel like she lies a lot. That's my opinion. I've watched her on camera. I think she's very egotistical. But it, it, you know what? I will say this, though. I've been noticing like a pattern with some, but a lot of just really successful makeup See, I mean, we're, we're talking about makeup, okay? These people are obsessed with vain. They want to look good. But then there is also a side of it of being like maybe a little bit ego driven a little bit so when like i'll look at like maybe huda and maureen and jeremy from Too Faced cosmetics and like there is a bit of arrogance ego and pride in the way we're not don't even get me started on jeffree star but we're just talking about these people over here and i noticed that <clears throat> i just been noticing and, and i don't know why it took me this long to notice that but a lot of the makeup like millionaires and billionaires are kind of like like look at me eyes on me and Maureen from, and I guess people don't really talk about her because even if you take all these big, big players, right? Like, let's say like a Jeffree Star, Huda Beauty, Jeremy from Too Faced Cosmetics, Maureen, throwing Patrick Star, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Charlotte Tilbury. If you put them all together, right? The ones that are still alive because you got like people like Dior, Christian Dior and Chanel, they're no longer with us. But the ones that are alive, uh, Patrick Ta, things like that. You can almost rank them from the level of egotisticalness to of ego and pride, okay? But there also is a hierarchy within that realm too, right? Like Maureen from Tarte Cosmetics, the CEO, she's born in the house, girl. Like there's nothing, she's just boring. She's just a chick who lied and got lucky. And that's just the bottom. I mean, she told the story of how Tarte Cosmetics became Tarte Cosmetics. And I'm sitting there, I'm just like, so basically you lied and then got lucky. I believe I'm sharing this, but when I first started Tarte, I may have started with a white lie to get it off the ground. So back in 1999, when I started the brand, I wasn't a makeup artist. And Social media didn't exist. It was kind of a really hard time. Out of my PhD program at Columbia in clinical psychology, is I wanted to start a line of high performance natural makeup, like healthy, good for you ingredients, stuff, and infused with, you know, just as much good stuff as I could get, like maracuja, Amazonian clay, you know, lots of superfruits like acai, um, acerola, and just all the good things. So I fast forward here, the rest is another story, but I create the brand and I decide, okay, I'm ready to sell. So where can I actually sell it? I start calling stores. Remember, Sephora doesn't exist. It's 1999. I call Henry Bendel's. I call Bergdorf Goodman. I call Barney's and leave a message. And I'm so excited because I'm ready. I have like this cool purple packaging. I have my cheek stain. I've created all of this cool stuff. I've pressed the eyeshadows myself with my family. You know, pressed it until like our fingers bled. 
Here I am waiting for my phone call back and I'm waiting and waiting and nobody calls me. Not the end of the world. I'm just gonna call them. So I call back and I leave another message. Crickets, no call back. I call back in, I leave another message. No return call. I'm starting to panic because I put everything on my credit I, you know, didn't have a ton of money in the bank. I literally had to put everything on my credit cards. Bills, Barney's and Bergdorf's are in like fierce competition with each other. Leave a message for Bendel's. This is the last time I'm gonna call you. Meanwhile, it's like, you know, my eighth message that I'm leaving them. Sorry to bother you. It's just one last phone call. It's, I'm about to launch at Bergdorf's. I'm about to go in and sign with them, but I grew up going to Bendel's with my mom, which was a complete lie because I grew up with no money whatsoever. I just wanted to give one last chance because you know, Bendel's is so nostalgic to me just because of my childhood. Okay, here's the lie, right? So I'm feeling a little terrible about this. So not so terrible that I'm like, Oh my gosh, I can't pay my credit card bill. It's desperate and sometimes you have to kind of like fake it to me. This is where it's coming in. I grew up going to Bendel's and it's really nostalgic. I just wanted to know that I'm about to launch a Bergdorf Goodman. Just one last, you know, college try here. Hang up. What happened? Lo and behold, I get a message back that day from the Bendel's buyer saying, come in tomorrow. Love to see your product. I'll give you 15 minutes. Re what the and got an investor from China or something or Korea or something like that. It is what it is. I mean, you were you were in the beginning stages whenever the makeup boom was happening years ago. The girl just got lucky. The house. Okay, that's my opinion. I'm allowed to have this, and I'm pretty sure hard work and dedication had a lot to do with it. But also, there's a level of luck. There's a le level of chance that was in there, and you got it. Okay, so I digress. Okay, so Jeffrey Star has shaded Tarte Cosmetics before. So this time, he does this video review of the new Tarte Cosmetics Maracuja lip glitter thing. And he gives it a horrible review. It, it breaks. It even breaks. Let me show you the clip. Here Welcome we back to another makeup. What's up, TikTok? Welcome back to another makeup review. How are ya? What is on the chopping block today? Yes, Miss Thing, we got these. Oh my God, you guys have been really wanting me to try these. There is a video of them close up that the brand Tarte posted. It looks really sparkly, magical, and like diamonds, but does it really work? All right, the Maracuja Juicy Lip Balm from Tarte retails for $24. Oh my God, y'all, what the? So for $24, it comes in this moment. This is what she looks like. Oh, it's a clicking thing on the bottom. What the hell? Oh! We're gonna click this up and this is gonna be one swipe for a hydrating trip, uh, treatment balm and then multiple layers for a perfect pop of color. This is gonna plump, shine, and do everything. Uh, I, I actually really want this to work. So let's click it up. It's non-retractable. I'm gonna put this on over my lipstick and then we're gonna wipe the lipstick off and try it on over regular, regular skin. I mean, look at the close-up. It looks really sparkly in there. Is it going to translate on the lips? Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe I put too much on. Let's just click it up. Maybe I click too much, okay? There's just a little bit. Oh my God. Okay, there we go. Oh. Oh. Huh. Okay, first impressions, it's tingling. I feel it doing something. Did I want it to look more diamond-like? Yes. Is it maybe because I have lipstick on? Maybe. So we'll try it in a second, but I like this as like a finisher. It's pretty as a topper. Not sticky, feels amazing. Smells really fresh and like islandy. Okay, lipstick is off. Let's try a different shade. This is Peach Shimmer Glass. Um, okay, we know not to click as much up. Here's what this looks like. Here's the close-up. Ooh, look at the sparkles, bitch. Okay, this is all I'm clicking up, okay? Let's give it a swirl. Okay, there's several swipes. Click a few more up. What do we think? Okay, y'all. I was expecting shimmer diamonds. Like, uh, up close, it looks pretty, but you guys. 
I'm gonna try one more shade. This is called Rose, and it says it's supposed to shift and not have the same diamond effect. It's supposed to have a shift effect. <laughs> okay. What's shifting? Oh, what's up, TikTok? Okay, there's several shades. This is called Rose. Okay, can we do a final impressions because... <laughs> okay, for $24... It, it, it's just not it. It's giving wet and wild $1 gloss. The plumping isn't like really giving it to me. When I first applied it, I felt like a little tinge of something. It's giving boring. It's giving overpriced. It's giving next. <laughs> the Tarte Juicy Lip Plump Bombs are not Jeffree Star approved. Oh, what's up, TikTok? Welcome back to another makeup review. How are ya? What is on the chopping block today? Yes, Miss Thing, we got these. Oh my. All right, grab a snack and come on back. All right, so check this out. So upon watching the video, I was noticing, I was like, well, wait a minute. Like, um, people are gonna start hating on here. They're gonna say, you don't even like Tarte Cosmetic. You're just doing it to make your brand look good. Moses, Moses, can you have me? Thank you so much, Moses. Thank you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. This is some tea. Oh, I love it. All right. So take this out. I'll, I'll try to link the tea down below back I can remember. So anyway, I'll have to say this, right? So then Jeffree Star does another review and it is of another Tarte Cosmetics product. Like literally within the same week. It is the new Tarte Cosmetic blush. After watching the video, I want to buy the blush now. I think that might be a, a blush that I want to try. I just don't like giving my money to Tarte Cosmetics. I just feel Tarte Cosmetics is so boring, girl. Like, you know, like... It's very basic, and I understand everyone Everyone does a little copper eye nude lip, girl. Like, basic now. It's like, I get it, right? But Tarte Cosmetic, like, I'd rather just give my money something more, like, luxurious and glamour. And it's just like, Tarte Cosmetic is so boring. But it's a good blush, so let me roll you that. Here we go. What's up, it. everybody? Welcome back to another makeup review. How are ya? Star family, we are on week three of No Red Bull. How are we feeling? <laughs> Let's talk. A lot of water. I have so much water in my system, I can't stop. All jokes aside, you guys, I think the detox phase is over. I'm definitely feeling a little different now that we don't drink Red Bull anymore. So I've definitely have had a coffee once or twice this week, but zero energy drinks on week three. Dear Lord. Let's get into the makeup today on the chopping block. Is this Tarte blush I've seen everywhere. Never tried it, didn't care, now I do. Packaging looks like this. Of course, this is from the brand Tarte. This is their Juicy Blush. This is in shade Big Ego. The packaging, it's plastic, very simple. Shade label on the back, of course, when you open it up, woo -hoo -hoo, voila. So this is a cream product. It looks a little glittery. As you see, it is cream only. Hi, close up, how are ya? What is it supposed to do? Allegedly, this is a shape-shifting blush. It's gonna go with our pH and it's gonna be powered by it and it's gonna deliver my skin's perfect shade, a bouncy cream formula that's supposed to melt in my skin and we're supposed to use a brush or our fingers. All right, let me go put on some foundation and concealer. Be right back. All righty, we're blended and we're zoomed in. Let's try this. Now this is $30. Tarte, ugh, baby, $30? But whatever the price is, we're gonna try it. It could be fucking amazing. So we're gonna take a synthetic brush. And I heard a little goes a long way. So I don't wanna like look like a fucking clown. So let's start with just a few dabs. Here goes nothing. Oh. Oh, I went really light. I wasn't sure if it was gonna look like clown-like or crazy. And that was a literally just a few. Okay, so far, it looks kind of glossy. It looks very skin-like. It's not looking chalky. And I'm gonna go all the way up into my brow and onto my temples, because I love a nice wraparound blush moment. Oh, girl. Are y'all seeing this shit? Hi. Okay, first impressions. <laughs> it blended seamless with ease. It literally took like five seconds and it's not overly pigmented. I was scared I was gonna go overboard. I mean, it's it's Christmas, let's do a little on my nose. Like, hi, <laughs> it's cold outside, you little whore. <laughs> let's do the other side. Okay, I don't know what is in this formula, but it's really, really creamy. I've tried so many cream blushes, and they just, a lot of them are just really chalky, they don't go on very well. 
This goes on like effortlessly. Like, look at that. It's like boom, boom, melting into your skin and it just blends out like a dream. <laughs> Here's both sides blended out. It's honestly beautiful. I love how skin-like it looks. It's very like, wow. And there's no glitter, even though it looks a little glittery in here, there's a zero, like it just gives you a beautiful reflection. I'm like, oh my God. I definitely wanna set the face, finish my makeup and see how it looks, but so far, bitch, I'm shook. Oh, uh, hi, how are ya? All right, I finished my makeup look and I'm gonna be really honest right now. Oh my God. This is one of the best cream blushes I have ever used on the market. I really can't believe I'm saying that, bitch. So the Maracuja blush, the juicy blush from Tarte. It is Jeffree Star approved! You guys, this formula is impeccable. I know I was bitching about the price, but literally you use hardly any product when you're dipping in. This pan is going to last you a very long time. The formula, impeccable. Even when I set the face, the color was there. It's so skin and doll-like, and it's just so pretty. Now, last week, the lip product I tried from them may have flopped, but this cream blush is a hit. <clears throat> okay, so if you made this far on the video, drop a Christmas emoji in the chat, whatever you want. And anyways, so I'm gonna go see that new Jason Mo Momoa Aquaman movie, and I'm gonna come home and probably wrap some Christmas gifts and then bake some gluten-free, sugar-free cookies. Ugh, I know, but we're trying to be healthy, right? And uh, yeah, and then probably just, you know, watch something on the Netflix or Hulu or something interesting. I might jump on TikTok Live or whatever. We'll see how that goes. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. I love you so much.